Hello. The purpose of this video is to review basic APA formatting and demonstrate the application of it using Microsoft Word 2007. Please note that this video is based on the 6th edition of the APA manual. When you open a new Word document, the default settings include font and paragraph options which will need to be changed. I recommend changing your default settings in order to decrease the number of modifications you will need to remember to make each time you are working on an essay. Ensure your essay is written on paper that measures 8.5 by 11 inches. In the Page Layout tab, you can verify the size and orientation of your paper. Even if written assignments are handed in electronically, it is easy to tell if these settings are not correct. You must use size 12 times New Roman font throughout your essay. It is best to set your font before starting the paper. If you've already begun the essay, you will need to press Ctrl A to select your text prior to changing the font settings. To change the font, go to the Home tab. In the Font group, you can select the desired font style and size using the drop-down menus. You also want to ensure you are using a black font color. Note that the font in the header of the document was not changed. Alternatively, you can click here or press Ctrl D to bring up the font settings. If you wish to change your default settings, choose the desired options and click on default in the lower right hand corner. Times New Roman, regular, 12. Also, in the page layout tab, be sure to set your margins to one inch on all sides, including the top and bottom. Margins that are less than 1 inch, such as 0.95 of an inch, will be noticed and marks will be deducted. This is one aspect of APA that people using alternate word processors need to be particularly vigilant to check. Paragraphs must be indented half an inch and double spaced in APA format, without an extra space added between paragraphs. Use the tab key to indent paragraphs. On the Home tab, you can select your spacing using the drop down menu or by clicking here and choosing your settings. You will note that the default settings are not correct. Students often get marks deducted for not changing these settings. Ensure that there is no space after a paragraph. Spacing is set to double. Again, I recommend changing your default settings by clicking on default on the lower portion of the box. When writing your essay, be sure that paragraphs are at least three sentences in length. Paragraphs must also be less than a page long. Paragraphs that are this long are generally hard to follow, which may result in stylistic mark deductions. Ensure paragraphs are well organized. It is recommended by professors that paragraphs not exceed three quarters of a page. If you're using another operating system and or word processor, it is your responsibility to ensure that your document appears to the professor with the proper font, margins, and paragraph settings. Saving your document in a format that can be opened by the professor is essential. In general, rich text format is recommended. To save your document in rich text format, click on the Office button and Save As. Select Rich Text Format from the drop-down menu. In the next videos, I will review how to construct a title page, format the body of an essay, and construct the reference list.